hey guys welcome back so in this video we are going to see how to integrate bootstrap in our asp.net project and we will be designing the navbar and the slider so let's start with it so i will open my visual studio code and here first we will include the bootstrap css so for that you just open your google chrome and search for getbootstrap.com so this is the website and you just have to go to this docs over here and you have the css and the js link over here so we will be installing it locally we are not going to use the cdn link so just copy that and paste it in your new tab and press enter so you'll get the css code over here so go back to your visual studio code and here you just right click and say add new folder and name it as assets and hit enter so on the assets folder click right click and say add new folder and that will be the css folder and inside this folder just we will be adding the bootstrap css so say add you have here right style sheet so select this style sheet and we are going to name it to bootstrap 5 dot css okay so this is our css file so you don't have to write anything over here just go back to your chrome and press ctrl a select everything copy that and go back to your code and you can just remove this and paste it over here so it's pasted over here so we have pasted the bootstrap 5 css now so let us include it in our main page so here i'm going to say a link tag and here just say relation is equal to style sheet and href give the path over here so our path is from the assets folder assets slash css slash you have the bootstrap 5 dot css okay so just save your file we have linked our bootstrap css file to our project let us check if it is integrated properly or not so i will just create a button over here and we will be adding a class here that will be the bootstraps class over here that is btn btn primary and the button text is going to be submit and save this let us run the output and this thing is come over here i think the primary spelling is misspelled over here primary okay this thing should be inside the class control x and paste it here paste save and refresh so you can see you got this button design so if you have not integrated your bootstrap you will get a basic html button over here so by this we get to know our bootstrap is integrated properly so this is just the css right we are going to integrate the js also so just copy that link and paste so you got the js over here so like how we created the css file let's stop debug so we will be creating the js folder and inside that we will have the js files so on the assets just right click and add new folder js hit enter and inside js add a new javascript file and this is going to be bootstrap bootstrap 5 dot js okay and here it is so you just have to go to your browser and copy all this control a copy and go to your code control v just paste it over here and save the file and you can just close this like how we have included this thing we need to include the js file also so let me say script tag over here 
script src is equal to you have to give the path so that is assets slash js slash bootstrap 5 dot js save so let's go back to the browser and here we will be getting the navbar design now so type navbar over here hit enter and you have different types of navbar over here we will go with the simple one so we will be taking this one or you can take this thing which you have a drop down over here for this design you have the code over here just click copy and about this form tag so inside the body just paste it so we just pasted this and let us see the output and you can see this navbar is over here and this drop down is working so if this drop down is not working for you guys you are just missing the js okay or either your path is wrong for this js here it is yeah so if you are missing this js file this drop down is not going to work so let's make some changes in the navbar so this container fluid i'm going to remove the fluid so i'll make it container and in this ul tag we are going to add margin start auto okay save and refresh so you see you got this thing in a container so container will be the 80 percent width so this side and this side will have some space over here and that ms auto which we have added that class that just put all these items to this right side you can change the navbar color so you have this navbar light bg light right so just change that both to dark dark save and refresh so your navbar color will become dark and this text will become white so this is the home page right so we will add an about us page now just go to your code stop debugging so i'll just close this folder of assets and here we are going to create a add new item and it's going to be a web form change the name to about.aspx and you got this about page over here so in this navbar where you have this home right so just remove that and say home.aspx and for this features you just change the text to about us and the href you just say about.aspx okay so save that and here i'll say now h1 tag hello this is home not home this is about us page save and this navbar we require in the home page all in this about us page also right so let me just show you just close this previous two outputs and here we have run this about us page right so we'll go to index page index not the index it's the home right so you have this navbar so when i click on about us we are going to about us but that navbar is not visible and just stop this so this navbar code just align this first yeah so this navbar code you just copy and paste it in that so that is not a good practice so if you just copy and paste in all the files so if you have one small change so you need to open all the files and change it in everything so the best option is we will just create a separate file and include it in all the files so that if we have a change we will just have to do it in one file and it will be reflecting in all other files so for that you just click over here and say add new folder so we'll have an includes folder over here so inside that includes folder just click add and new item so this time we are not going to add a web form just scroll down and you can see over here html page so just rename that to 
navbar.html and add so you got this navbar.html we don't require all this thing you can just remove that and that navbar code which we had right just select that and press control x just cut and paste it inside this navbar.html so now how do we include it in these files so here you just need to give this and just say hash include file is equal to here we have to specify the path so it is inside includes slash navbar dot html so just copy this line copy and in your about us page paste it over here and save all the files and go to google chrome so just run this project from here so here it is so this is our home page let us go to the about us page so the css is not linked over there so you can just copy this link over here and paste it in that file or you can keep an separate file for this like header.html but one thing in this you have to keep in mind that you see here the file names are different for each thing so you cannot remove everything so we will be just pasting the link in all the files as we have just one over here save copy and paste save and now run the output so here it is this is about page let me go to the home page and we are able to navigate between different pages we have seen how to include the nav bar let us just add the slider to our website so here you can just search for slider just scroll down over here and you will get this thing and here you have this navigation buttons and this third one you have with this indicator also so we are going to take this thing so just copy that and just stop debugging so like how we have done for this nav bar if you want to include this in more than one page you can just keep it in a separate file and include it over there else you can just directly paste it over here so just paste okay and you can see this img tag right we need to change this instead of three dots you need to specify the path so we'll just create an images folder inside our assets add new folder it's going to be images hit enter so you got the images folder over here so you just copy your image and paste it in this i've copied my file and i'll just paste it over here you can see over here paste so i have named this file as slider1.jpg inside this src we need to specify the path so that is going to be assets slash the images slash slider one dot jpg save that and let us check so run the output and here it is so i have just added only once right so the other two tags also we need to give the image path so just copy that and paste paste so in this you can give your custom class or you have an attribute or your height i'm going to say 400 px save and refresh the output let us check if that height is enough so yeah 400 will be better so we'll add for all these things let me just make it to 500 pixel copy this attribute and paste it in both of the 
image tag save and refresh so you can keep different images over here it's not necessary that you keep the same image so here you can show something else about your project and in the next slider you can have other things so i have just used the single image so that's it in this video guys we have seen how to design a navbar and a slider using bootstrap in our asp project so thank you for watching this video guys please like the video and subscribe to the channel thanks for watching